you guys hit? Like tickets. Probably uh, a little bit of tickets, you know? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I can't say yeah. that. Nice, dude. Yeah, you're waiting at 2.30 or something? Yeah. Oh, like 2.40, man. Wow. <laughs> like Where you at? You let me scroll. I'm like 2.35, 2.40 in between there. That's cool. In between there and shit, you know? Yeah. Everybody in here today, though. Yeah, man. I came late because I had to jump on Lil' Man at Grandma's. It's like, get over here and shit. I'm like, I need to work out. I'm like, you know what? No, no, I'm off. This is our sample legend. And uh I'm gonna show all you guys out there. If you wanna stay hardcore, I'm gonna show you the hardcore way how to take your pre-workouts. Under the tongue. <laughs> Faster absorption. It makes me a witch, What is that? Amino pump. <laughs> Double dose. You can stack the two. <laughs> to be a legend, you have to take what a legend takes. <laughs> I say once every five to seven days, maximum twice a week, uh, repetitions like 12 reps on just like every other body part. The main thing is getting a full contraction. You know, I always try to do a standing movement, start with that, and I do a seated, sometimes throwing some donkey or some leg press, uh, toe presses. But the main thing is, is really get that, get that deep stretch at the bottom, really let the heel drop and get that stretch and then the nice peak contraction. And a lot of times like I'll double up, so I'll, I'll go up and then I'll do a peak. It's a one, two. Yeah, like a, a one, two uh, motion that I've done since the very beginning. And I said, I had no calves, so everyone knows the conversations I've had. I've had trouble building my calves, so. Nice. Believe, believe. <laughs> Just show them. <laughs> Big Mehmet. <laughs> best of the best. We were on, we were on uh, Turkish TV together. What yeah, was that yeah, thing? It was a Canal D. Yeah, that's a very famous uh, yeah. night show sure. over there. What was that, 2007, 2006? Eight. Eight. 2008? 2008. Yeah, I went to Turkey and nice. Mehmet's a big star in, in Turkey. <laughs> He's a big, big star, star everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the best star too. <laughs> Good to see you, man.
focus on inclines. Obviously, we did incline hammer. Just really trying to get, I think it develops overall chest, not necessarily the flat benches. I think it's the best exercise, but I think this really also hits the pecs in a full motion. But I always just felt, you know, it keeps my shoulders back more, a lot of the contraction. So you see how to control a lot of the reps. It's not just throwing the weight, you gotta feel the exercise. Come on. It's a pump right there. Amino pump for the whole workout. in the traditional way this will really allows you to really get that you can see how much blood you know even a retired guy in his chest you don't have that in Vegas this machine do you nah they have the selectorized version not the weights yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I still always think something with with free weights seems to be better motion range the problem this thing is you can go deeper with this with the weight stacks it's hard to get as deep of a yeah, stretch yeah, at the yeah. bottom. Always the peak contraction you can get, but yeah. You know, this is really good. I mean, it's a favorite here, so. Yeah. All these, but goodies. Yeah, all the machines. I mean, it's changed. I know. You know, back in the day, I mean, I had a gym. I did barbell presses. I did, you know, dumbbell presses. I did it all, but it's like, you know, now I can just, uh, I'm just focus on doing a lot of different movements. You know. I don't want to make him look bad. He <laughs> <laughs> was doing 70, so I'm going to go 80 next set just to make him look Remember that video we filmed at uh, BPI with that guy and that girl? Yeah. Doing chest. What was that guy doing? He wants me to do crossfit. <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> Alright, so ideally cable crossover. What I'm trying to do is I'm really trying to bring it in and really just trying to keep the chest up and really get a contraction in the chest. And that's why you'll see when I come down the chest pops up. Really get that contraction. Good finishing movement, but also good isolation on the pecs to really get that squeeze. I still believe in pressing movements the most but this is a great finisher really to get that, to see that deep stretch and uh obviously work the detail in for the competitions when you get ready for a show so yeah this will be the finishing exercise so uh incline hammer incline uh press we did like a flat almost uh inner hand grip with this one uh and then cable crossover is uh this is our final four? move it's yeah. four exercises uh you know, we're getting our way back up. I'm trying to put on some size. I've added about 10 pounds, probably about 265 now, and uh, working my way back up. So by the time a lot of the fans see me at the Arnold, I'll be back at, uh, you know, to some bigger standard. What's the, what's the goal for the Arnold? We're uh, like seven weeks out, six weeks out? Yeah, you know what? I think I would love to be 280. But you get I lean, say 275. You get well, lean, I'm, yeah. I'm, as I get fuller, I'm going to get leaner, yeah. so it's illusion. I'm actually yeah. not going to get that much leaner, but more push to the muscle, as you can see. I mean, when I train, I fill up a lot. Yeah. So my arms stayed pretty big, pretty good size. Yeah. It's just that I lost, you know, back in my shoulders, which I'm getting some fullness back. Everyone that's seen me today said, well, you're bigger than the last time. And, uh, you know, that's the goal. But before the Arnold, we get the FedEx Pro, like in... Yeah, weeks, which in a couple of weeks, weeks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I'm... I'll be, you know, I'm eating consistently. Yeah, yeah. 
I'm eating at least five meals a day right now, plus maybe a shake. So that's kind of the goal. I think, um, you know, I need to touch a little more upon the diet here in these videos. I'd like to get some video of me uh, cooking and how I'm doing that. You know, I'm still eating a teriyaki boy in Vegas that's making the food for me. And yeah. Eat to Grow is still sending me all my meat. So yeah. I try to cook at home, to be honest, though. Everyone that knows me knows that I follow a pretty strict diet regimen, even off season. And when I'm home and not traveling, I really try to cook the meals. And, uh, you know, obviously Cutler Nutrition is going to keep me super busy. Yeah. I'm doing a lot of the trade shows. I added another Cutler show in Virginia this year. Wow. Which is in Richmond. So you got uh, eight end now. Of, end, of, end of August, so. Is that eight? Uh, it's, I think it's, I think it's eight. Yeah. Seven or eight. I think you were at seven And I'm looking at a couple international places, you know, I'm not wow. going to. Really? Wow. I'm trying to get ex not get excited about it, but I've got some interest internationally. Wow. And, you know, hopefully eventually have a pro show at one of these things. That would, that would be, be that'd be really cool. Yeah. All right, yeah. great for stretching this thing. You squeeze the fifth one? <laughs> yeah. I cheated. I lied to everyone. <laughs> I know you did. Now, I just wanted to stretch, you know, as I'm getting bigger, and I haven't got into back into therapy like I I used to do, I want to make sure that I stay kind of pliable and you know, keep the fibers loose. And I really like doing all that, uh, all that stretching, you know. It just allows me to you know, open everything up because I know when I get under the heavy weights, like I only went up to like 100 pound presses here and inclines. I mean, I was down to like doing 80s and uh, struggling to get 12 in the time I took down. But as I get higher, I I still feel a little a little weak in there. So I want to make sure I stay pliable because I don't want to tear something as I get bigger. That's it, Jay. Yeah. So we knocked chest. out some chests and calves today here at the Mecca Bodybuilding, sunny California. This is what it's like <laughs> on January 21st. <laughs> nice. 2015. Can't beat that with I a keep, stick. I keep writing my checks and I keep putting 14 on your checks. You ever do that in January? <laughs> usually, yeah, in January usually. It takes I know, I know everyone watching is probably like, man, I do the same thing. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to get used to like... The new year. Yeah, yeah. so. All right, all right. Well, thanks for having us today, yeah. man. People will be glad to see, uh, see you and then and we'll shoot some more at the Fit Expo, so come and see you, right? All the fans over there. Come and see me uh, at the, the Fit Expo LA. Uh, February 7th and 8th, and 8th yes. of February. And, but before that, I'm in, uh, in Montreal, so you guys up in Canada. Oh, nice. I'll be up there uh, doing an appearance on the 30th and the 31st before Super Bowl. It's going to be really cold. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're back. All right, so. man.